Welcome back to Amrita Pritham's The Weed. Let's have a quick recap. Anguri, the Punjabi village girl, was married to an old man, Prabhadi. Their sexual union took place five years after the marriage. The place where Anguri and Prabhadi lived was near to where the narrator lived. The narrator and Anguri became friends. Anguri believed that it is a sin for village women to learn reading and writing. The narrator compares the physical features of Anguri and her husband, Prabhadi. Anguri's body is like good quality duff used for baking, while Prabhadi is a very old man and not a match for her. In Anguri's village, bride's father as the final word in marriage. The brides never see their future husbands before marriage. Anguri believed that girls fall in love when they are given the weed by their lovers. Now, let's go through this conversation once again. It is where Anguri explains to the narrator the marriage system existed in the village. Listen. A girl when she is five or six adores someone's feet. He is the husband. How does she know it? Her father takes money and flowers and puts them at his feet. That's the father adoring, not the girl. He does it for the girl. So it's the girl herself. But the girl has never seen him before. Yes, girls don't see. Not a single girl ever sees her future husband. No, she hesitated after a long, pensive pause. She added, Those in love, they see them. Do girls in your village have love affairs? A few. Those in love, they don't sin? I remembered her observations regarding education for women. They don't. See, what happens is that a man makes the girl eat the weed and then she starts loving him. Which weed? The wild one. Here, Anguri tells about the system of marriage as existed in Punjabi villages. It is the father who sees the bridegroom and fixes the marriage. The brides do not see the future husbands before marriage except those engaged in love affairs. Anguri believes that girls fall in love because they are given the weed by men. Something similar to the weed referred in our village culture is Kaivisham. You might have heard about it. Anguri's beliefs about the weed. The conversation continues. Doesn't the girl know that she has been given the weed? No. He gives it to her in a pan. After that, nothing satisfies her but to be with him, her man. I know. I have seen it with my own eyes. Whom did you see? A friend. She was older than me. And what happened? She went crazy, ran away with him to the city. How do you know it was because of the weed? What else could it be? Why would she leave her parents? He brought her many things from the city, clothes, trinkets, sweets. Where does this weed come in? In the sweets. Otherwise, how could she love him? Love can come in other ways. No other way here? No other way. What her parents hated was that she was that way. According to Anguri, 
the weed is given to the girls without their knowledge probably hidden in a pan the weed makes the girl completely attracted to the man anguri has had seen the experience of her friend who ran away with her lover leaving her parents behind there is no other way love can happen except by consuming the weed anguri believed so what happens when a girl eats weed the conversation between the narrator and anguri continues have you seen the weed no they bring it from a far country my mother warned me not to take a pan or sweets from anyone men put the weed in them you were very wise how come your friend ate it to make her suffer she said sternly the next moment her face clouded perhaps in remembering her friend crazy she went crazy the poor thing she said sadly never combed her hair singing all night what did she sing i don't know they all sing when they eat the weed cry too the conversation was becoming a little too much to take so i retired according to anguri the weed is brought from a very far place anguri was properly warned by her mother so that she was careful not to eat them from anybody when girls fall in love with a man they become crazy and careless they forget to comb their hair and they sing all night when they eat the weed that is when they fall in love they all start to sing anguri falls in love i found her sitting under the neem tree one day in a profoundly abstracted mood usually one could hear anguri coming to the well her angle bells would announce her approach they were silent that day what's the matter anguri she gave a blank look and then recovering a little said teach me reading bibi what has happened teach me to write my name why do you want to write to write letters to whom she did not answer but was once again lost in her thoughts won't you be seen sinning i asked trying to draw her out of her mood she would not respond i went in for an afternoon nap when i came out again in the evening she was still there singing sadly to herself when she heard me approaching she turned around and stopped abruptly she sat with hunched shoulders because of the chill in the evening breeze you sing well anguri i watched her great effort to turn back the tears and spread a pale smile across her lips i don't know singing but you do anguri this was the the song your friend used to sing i completed the sentence for her one day the narrator found anguri in a careless mood unusually silent and singing sadly moreover anguri requests the narrator to teach her to read and write obviously she wanted to write letter to somebody even though she believed learning to read and write for village women is sin the song she sung was the same song sung by her friend who fell in love before her anguri sings songs she is telling the narrator about the song she had heard her friend sing i heard it from her sing it for me she started to recite the words oh it's just about the time of year for change four one four months winter four months summer four months rain no not like that sing it for me i asked she wouldn't 
but continue with the words four months of winter rain in my heart my heart shivers so my love four months of summer and wind shimmers in the sun four months come the rain clouds tremble in the sky anguri i said loudly she looked as if in a trance as if she had eaten the weed i felt like shaking her by the shoulders instead i took her by the shoulders and asked if she had been eating regularly the song sung by anguri was about the seasonal change it obviously means the changes that takes place within her mind she looked as if she had eaten the weed it is hinted that anguri has fallen in love with somebody she looked tired having lost interest in food now about anguri's lover other felt that she was not eating anything and she asked whether she had eaten anything she had not she cooked for herself only since prapati ate at his masters did you cook today i asked not yet did you have tea in the morning tea no milk today why no milk today i didn't get any ram tara fetches the milk for you i added she nodded ram tara was the night watchman before anguri married prabhadi ram tara used to get up a cup of tea at our place at the end of his watch before retiring on his cot near the well after anguri's arrival he made his tea at prabhadi's he anguri and prabhadi would all have tea together sitting around the fire three days ago ram tara went to his village for a visit anguri has not eaten anything not even tea she didn't get milk that day ram tara who fetches milk has not come that day ram tara a new character is introduced here he was the night watchman he was friendly with anguri and prabhadi and had his tea at their house it is hinted that anguri has fallen in love with this young man anguri was sad that he had gone to his village 3 days ago you haven't had tea for 3 days i asked she nodded again and you haven't eaten i suppose she did not speak apparently if she had been eating it was as good as not eating at all i remembered ram tara good looking quick limbed full of jokes he had a way of talking with smiles trembling faintly at the corner of his lips anguri sbb could it be the weed tears flowed down her face in two rivulets gathering into two tiny puddles at the corners of her mouth curse on me she started in a voice trembling with tears i never took sweets from him not a bettel even but tea she could not finish her words were drowned in a fast stream of tears anguri has fallen in love with the young night watchman ramtara she longs to see him when he is away however she is confused though she was very careful not to take sweets or anything she has fallen in love with him she strongly believed that love happens only by eating the weed she assumes that it was probably through the tea it seems that she is feeling guilty to fall in love the story shows 
how innocent people are being manipulated by the beliefs and customs of a society